breathing. With the airway now supported, let's move to breathing. The most common professional device for positive pressure ventilations is the bag valve mask or BVM device. It comprises a large bellows bag which is available in different sizes, a reservoir bag to ensure a constant supply of oxygen and a one-way non-return valve with a face mask. The connection to the BVM is by way of a 15mm connector which is a universal fitting to all breathing airway devices including ET tubes, superglottic airways and the pocket mask. Efficient use of bag valve mask is best obtained with two operatives as part of a resuscitation team. However, solar professional responders such as ambulance personnel and general practitioners may adapt a single operator technique. Mask placement for both is identical. Place the mask over the patient's mouth and nose with the apex or pointed end towards the forehead. Use the apex of the mask and the bridge of the nose as landmarks for correct placement. A seal is then made by placing an anaesthetic C-grip around the mask edge with the remaining three fingers drawing the jaw into the mask. If other CFR advanced responders are available, then the rescuer's other hand mimics this C-grip on the other side of the mask and once more the remaining fingers draw the jaw into the mask. Rescuer 2 then squeezes the bag to ventilate the patient. Care should be taken to only squeeze the bag to achieve adequate rise and fall of the chest. Rescuers should aim to provide around 10 breaths per minute in a respiratory arrest context. Solo operators will need to practice holding the seal with one hand while squeezing the bag with the other. If adequate rise and fall of the chest cannot be maintained, then the rescuer should revert to the pocket mask. Now it's your turn to practice giving at least six ventilations using a bag valve mask. Your instructor will now advise if one or multiple rescuer techniques should be used.